Hello and welcome back my beautiful froggy army to another video. Today I'm going to be attempting something that I never attempt here on the channel. Touring dream islands. Dream islands and touring islands, dream addresses, all that kind of stuff is not really a staple here on the froggy crossing channel because um I'm really bad at it. The few times when I do try all I do is walk around the island, I look at everything, it's all cute, it's all amazing and I just have that in my head but all that comes out of my mouth is oh my god this is so cute that's all i say literally cute becomes the only word in my vocabulary and i don't know how to say anything else and i just um i don't know how to articulate sentences and words i just get so overwhelmed by the beauty by the amazing works of art that these dream islands are that i just i can't you know i i get a I trip over my words but today i'm gonna be trying to give it another shot we're gonna be trying to do some random dream island tours because uh hey it's a fun video idea i see people do it i want to do it I want to have fun so let's just give it a shot and uh, I'm very sorry in advance if I say the word cute a lot. <laughs> I'm here on leapfrog because I figured why not? <laughs> why not? We're up here in my little bedroom in here. Please ignore the roach. He is part of the family so... Oh that's... I was really- I promise you I was really trying to avoid him. He just- he ran in front of my feet, so that's not my fault. Don't sue me for murder. Okay, I want to dream. I used to have- oh my goodness, I used to have this recurring dream that my childhood bedroom would like flood with water and I had to go on like the top of like my bunk bed that I had- that I shared with my sister and I had to like be up on the top as like a float and like to survive the water. I guess that's more of a nightmare. But yeah, that was like a recurring dream I would always have. It's so funny. All right, so we're gonna do surprise me dreams and we're just gonna see what we get. Another like sort of dream that I've always had is thinking about like the perfect like video game. Like if I was gonna make a video game, like what would it be, you know? Mine would be like kind of Sims-ish, but like from a first person perspective and you just like explore this house and you can like interact with absolutely everything. Like go in the cabinets, you know, take out the cleaners, spray the cleaners on things. You can play with with the keys jingle them around you can move around the furniture you can like literally interact with like every single item and that would be my dream i always think about that and i'm sure that some of you have also thought about making your perfect video game your dream video game but what if you could actually make your dream video game and turn it into an actual career if you think that's interesting i would love to tell you about southern new hampshire university the sponsor of today's video with over 200 degree programs geared towards getting you started in a career that you're gonna love, SNHU has one of the biggest approved nonprofit online degree offerings in the country. Their game development program teaches you everything you need to know from 3D modeling and texturizing, computer programming languages like C++ and Java, game physics, 2D and 3D graphics, interface design, all taught by industry experts who are also gonna teach you the research and development side of things so that you can contribute to trends within the field. All of SNHU's programs are the definition flexible with no class time so you can work completely on your own schedule and if you already have college credits you don't have to start over or anything like that snhu will allow you to transfer up to 90 credits towards your bachelor's and 12 credits towards your master's so if you're ready to switch over or get started on a career that you're gonna love snhu's game development program can help out with that and if you'd like to learn more please check out my link snhu.edu slash froggy crossing it'll also be linked in the description below so thank you so much to snhu for sponsoring this video and now let's get into the dreams all right, I am ready for my first surprise dream. Let's check it out. Let's see what we get here. All right, we are here on Meadowvale. It looks like it's nighttime. <gasps> is this a little train right in front of me? Shut up. That is so cute. It looks like we got a little forest here. And back here, <gasps> is this a little cafe? I love a little cafe. This is like a little, oh my goodness, are these peaches from the peach orchard here? I'm already obsessed. I am. We got a lot of flowers here. Oh my goodness. No, I'm trapped. I'm trapped. I'm going to run through these. Sorry. Let's take a quick look at the map. Let's see. We got some interesting villager choices. Nate, his green eyebrows. We do have a frog. A person after my own heart. <laughs> okay, it looks like we got all the houses lined up like this. We we can just run across them and they just have some simple decorations right now. Either that or they're just unfinished either way. Ooh, a money tree. What if I just... My money now. Farmer's market cute i love like the little jams and stuff that's a perfect thing to put in like a farmer's market because they always have those like 
homemade stalls that have like jam and like honey and stuff like that and we have some farming over here love the farm vibes oh absolutely look at these <gasps> this is so perfect oh my goodness listen i'm slurping up this farm court inspiration here because what the heck their whole island isn't even like a farm island and this is like better than mine <laughs> i love the little sheep in the grass and then down here we have some little piggies the little pig pen okay heading back down here past these little train tracks i did see the museum nice we have some i question this tree placement just a tad there must be some logic here that i only have a singular brain cell so i can't comprehend it you know we've got like a little tiki area on the beach always love me a cute little tiki area especially when there's teddy bears involved and henry just like strolling around that that just makes it like 10 times better look at this cute little like honey bee garden area i also have one of these but you know what i didn't think of the little spilled honey little custom designs those are so precious i love that and lastly on our little tour here first of all it's freaking bats this is so cute on like these little lanterns and like this cool little like carriage section area Alrighty, that's it for this island thanks so much for having us all right we're on our next island we're here on wishbone i'm very curious about what this little flag is in the top right <laughs> i have a feeling this is gonna be a wonderful island so first of all i really like this plaza and how they decorated it i like the brick fence like on the sides there and i like the fences on the back and you can see the flowers and the trees through them and then i'm curious about the front here Ooh, we're all spooky decorated for halloween oh, this is so pretty what the heck oh my goodness and we got some like cool stuff on these little like banners here what does this say oh it's like oh there's there's blood i'm scared i'm digging this i'm digging this and then we got like kind of like a city vibe going is this a train okay putting the ice item behind this genius i like that there's like barrels over here and like they're on fire like, that's just kind of a mood. I want to go up the train station. What's up here? Oh, this is so cool. This is like going down into the tunnel. <gasps> wait, there's a pipe? Okay, wait, I want to see what's over here first and then we'll go in the pipe. Okay, you can just go, you can just go down again. <gasps> I'm so excited. This is like so thrilling. I'm going in the pipe. Let's see where it leads. What? What is this? Oh my God. Okay. The millions of portraits along the walls are kind of scaring me a little bit. This is so cool. This is like you're inside the train with the wallpaper. Oh, I literally quit Animal Crossing. Like, this is so smart. I'm literally done. Okay, let's head back out. This is so cool. Oh my god. Let's take a quick little look at the map because I'm curious. Wishbone. So cute. I'm going to keep exploring because like now I'm just like, ooh, what other secrets are we going to find? We've got like a little newspaper stall here. That is so cute. And then what's down here? It looks like we got some farm stuff. Love it. The farm core vibes. Yes. This is also like a little farmer's market. So cute. I like that they use a little building trick right there. I'm obsessed with doing that as well. And then somebody's house is a little flower shop. This is precious. This is absolutely precious. Oh my goodness. And then they have like the flower garden in the back. Makes sense. Makes sense. Okay, I see this little sneaky path over here. I want to go up here. Oh, this is the campsite. Very cute. Kind of simplistic up here, but like it gets the job done. And it's really cute. I like how they're throwing in some like natural elements along with the city. Is this like a park? This is so cute. Okay, we're back at the newspaper stand. Okay, more like campground areas. Super cute. Yeah, this is like, and this is like a little ice isolated like pond area like a little island i feel like i can't miss out on all the city stuff here so we're back at the plaza here is nooks we got the little money stack we got like the little gotcha machines we got the vending machines i love it okay and then behind nooks i was eyeing this it's a little restaurant i love how they make the houses into little builds like i try to do that but i feel like this is just like pure genius like pure brain power that i don't have what is this oh my goodness this is a laundromat oh my god and it's so cute they're all like really condensed but they still you know showcase what they're trying to showcase you know what i mean and i love like the streets and like the little transition areas this shot is so cool 
Oh my god. Okay, so this is like a little adjacent. Oh my goodness. Is this Chrissy and and what's her face? Francine and Chrissy. Yes, it is. That is so precious. And then the side is like a little cafe, like Sanrio pinky theme. That is so cute. Okay, now we're kind of like on the right side of resident services. And here we have Abel's. And it's like a little cute red area, little clothes shop. And then, oh my goodness, this is so cool. Wait, do we have like a dock area? These are like the docks. Ugh. I'm literally I'm literally leaving. I'm I'm deleting my save data after this because what? This is so cute. Like I just know that the terraforming and water escaping that went into this was like too much like so much <laughs> i love the little buildings the little storefronts with the vending machine in the back that just adds to it so much i love it i'm obsessed okay this is another is this a player house no this is a villager's house but this is like the little marine area the little marina stop it stop with the boats and the tires look at this even this is so cool oh my goodness i love how they like used buildings and played with all these all of these different things like it's nothing extravagant you know it's not like millions of like simple panels and stuff like that but like it's just so nice the touches are just so nice oh and we almost got lit on fire what is going on here it's like every corner that i turn there's something going on and it's just like beautifully executed look at this is this a freaking like circus carnival whatever's going on i love it absolutely look at all of this this is amazing and i love that the museum is behind this because it has that little glow let me get just like a shot of this this is incredible this is breathtaking <laughs> this is this is so cool okay and then going down we also have another oh my goodness this is a little 7-eleven how cute for another villager house and let's see what we got i think there's another thing over here we have a little graveyard slash cemetery i love how both of the players are just walking around hey oh i see a little jacuzzi up there move chadwick i want to see what's up there whatever's going on here i love it oh my goodness is this like a little marshall's starbucks this is so cute <laughs> not me saying cute 50 million times i love the aesthetic here like white and just like very very um refined we have refined tastes look at all of this <gasps> the gyroids playing volleyball i love it i've done a similar thing with karopi snacks so you know it's it's a great idea it's a great space filler <laughs> this is so cool look at this they played around with some buildings a little bit more here and this is really cool looking especially with the yellow car in the front to just like complete that little yellow aesthetic then going through here crossing through here this is so pretty i love this area absolutely gorgeous Oh my goodness, look at the like look at these little like buildings and stuff. Ah, oh, I'm obsessed. And we even have like a little movie night on the beach. This is so cool. Like I was saying, they just combine the items so beautifully. Like the light at the top, the wall thingy that I forget the name of, then the simple panels slash oh no, this is actually an item now. I forget that they actually made that in Animal Crossing now. And then like the lights in front of it, like chef's kiss now we have another villager house on the beach i guess he's like the little popcorn stand um concession stand let's see i do want to go up that ladder but uh we got so much going on this is so cool then we have like another player house to the right of all of this and it's like very japanese inspired very cool like I don't know what's going on here. I don't know what items are involved, but I love it. And it's all beautiful. And like this little area too. Like, what is this? I'm assuming this is like a pet store. They sell the fish or maybe a fish store for eating. I'm not sure. Just even the little areas, even these little like semi-transition areas, just little decorative areas are just beautiful all the buildings i'm going to cry it out and like the use of the path everything just this whole island feels so put together <laughs> i could never <laughs> so once again this is wishbone you can see the dream address there at the bottom let's get back to it let's go on to our next island i'm trying to use words that aren't the word cute okay i don't know how good of a job i'm doing i truly just got like whisked away in that island so i i don't know what was coming out of my mouth i kind of like blacked out for a sec all right on to our next dream let's see what we get surprised by today oh our next island pos, pos hold on i got this 
Postelsia. Pastelsia? I tried my best. Okay. I'm liking how this is looking so far. Like very like gardeny, kind of like garden core inspired. So yeah, like I was saying, so far we have kind of like a garden core, garden esque type of vibe with this really cute fountain and flower and bench area. And you know, it's a little bit on the norm core side, which I still really enjoy a good norm core island, you know, especially these little like chess playing areas in the park. Like that's so sweet. And then we have some of our villager houses. We got like a little tiki area and the beach just very simply decorated, just how I do it. Got another villager house with some flowers, got a cute little garden. As we cross this bridge, we are getting into kind of farm court territory. I saw a little sneak peek up there. So we got another villager house and again, simple beach. Ooh, you know, I feel like I don't see a lot of people with the mermaid fence. So I kind of appreciate seeing it here. So thank you so much. But yeah, we have an orchard here behind these houses. Love it, love a good orchard. And we got a little farm area. I love seeing all the farm areas cause I'm doing farm core. We got like our tractor, we got our pumpkins, we got the hay beds, we have the silos, the windmills. I'm not ready for this. Oh, I'm not ready for whatever this is. Oh, wow. This is a beautiful tulip field. This is so gorgeous. Wow. That is, this is just so peaceful to walk through. I wish I was one of these tulips. I feel like they, they live their best life right now. And I bet when it's like a windy day on the island with these wind turbines, that's just absolutely precious. All right. So what do we have here? Past the gorgeous tulip field, we have kind of like a little foresty, overgrown vibe. We got gyroids chilling living their best life love them oh we just got like a cool little pond section this map is very nice this is a, like a very nicely laid out map i love all the glowing moss here this is very cute very whimsical and fun and then we just got more of that forest vibe as we continue along this path this is this is a big mood i love a good overgrown section of an island or a whole island honestly and i also love color coordination and this house just having like the all black kind of spooky aesthetic chef's kiss Th you, you did a great job you did a great job for sure all right let's make our way back down let's see what we have on this side of the island another like kind of overgrown path area very nice again it's really doing it for me i love the vibe here <gasps> oh this is so pretty and then through this little archway we have a a very colorful museum area lots of lots of flowers this is really cool it's a bunch of different colors and types of flowers mixed together but you can tell that they put time into it and there's like patterns here i really love that more kind of like overgrown woods type of vibe to match the other side of the river there which adorable i love like the little hidden gyroid back here <laughs> like you can only find him if you like go into the woods which is so fun well this has been this island that i cannot pronounce Thank you for having me. Let's head back. <laughs> All right, let's do our last and final surprise island. These have been so fun. Oh my goodness. I've been having a blast. Jeff? Why is the island named Jeff? <laughs> I'm already scared. Okay, we're here on Jeff. <laughs> oh my goodness. Home of the froggy chair. I'm so glad to be here. For dreamers only. Okay. Uh, thank you very much. I will certainly take these. We have a ladder. Cool and a faulting pole. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. So here we have the museum right next to the plaza, which is always kind of unique to see. And I love this little custom design path. Let me get a closer look at this. Look at that. Like very like fall kind of autumn vibes, but we have like a little stall for the museum. Very cute. We can take a little path back here and we have lots of pumpkins. Oh my goodness. Look at how cute Nooks is. I love like this tile path that they made with the in-game um, path thing. Like this is so cute. I feel like the decorating style on this island is very similar to mine as well. Like just how they place items and stuff. I kind of relate to you, bestie. Oh my goodness, and we have a cute wee field. Uh, I'm sorry, I had to use the word cute because this is just so cute. Oh my goodness, some pretty waterfalls. And I love like the natural vibes of everything too. And we have like a little coffee shop and 
you can sit in a froggy chair. You know it's a good island when you can sit in a froggy chair. Oh, absolutely. Okay, we got like another little farm area down here. Love it. The custom designs, the weeds everywhere, my favorite. This little horse corral, stop it. It's not allowed. It's not allowed anymore. You can't. I'm officially declaring it into law. I'm so sorry. And look at this gorgeous house. Just like with a flower field out front, a little picnic. <laughs> There's even dialogue on the ground. I do say, this weather is mighty fine. Indeed so, chap. Like, they're having a conversation. This is... I have no words. I have no words. Uh, but we're gonna move on because look at all of this. This is so pretty. And then as we walk through here, we have a little beach area. The bubbles. Uh, I love the bubble, like the bubble makers. They add such a cute little touch. Okay, I want to get up on this cliff. I need to see what's over there. Let's find our way back. Okay, on my way back, I found this beach house. Look at how pretty uh, the colors, the vibes, like the little leaning tower. It's just... Uh, we have a very cute house with a gorgeous yard. I love it. And I like this. Very peaceful over here. Just to like go in this little hot spring. Adorable. We got a little secret path back here. Some gorgeous waterfalls. Like, oh wait. Are these secret stepping stones to this secret ladder? I want to know what's up here. Oh, okay. We got flowers. We have... Oh, this is just like a little path. This is like a little shortcut. Oh my goodness. What is this? Look at this! Okay, I literally cannot comprehend how you even do this. What? This is amazing! Look at this waterscaping! Look at this! Oh my goodness! I've, I've, I have no words! I'm taking a screenshot! <laughs> I'm so glad I went up the secret ladder. This is so fun. Okay, so then I found another incline here. And this is another house. We have a garden. Everything's decorated for Halloween. And we have... This is so cute! A little cafe. Oh my goodness, and there's an incline! There's two inclines down to the secret beach! I love it. The dedication. Whoa, look at this. This is so cool. Okay, so they have two residents and they have kind of like a monochrome slash orange folly type of vibe, except for Sherp. Sherp must be their favorite because he doesn't match with the rest of them or they're trying to kick him out. Look at this beach. I love the little details here. The froggy chair, the lily pad table, this little like tic-tac-toe and like the little weeds and the little chicks. Stop. Stop. Oh, this is how I love to decorate the beaches. I love the excessive use of the chicks or the ducks. It's it's an absolute mood. Oh, and then I just found an orchard. How fun. This is a huge orchard. Okay, and let's take a little stroll through the beach on our way back. Look at all the items. Just, I love everything going on. I, I really do. Absolutely beautiful. Oh, and some, did I already look at this entrance? <gasps> Look at this entrance. Oh my goodness. I have to pull out my camera because my character drifts. Oh my goodness. Let me get this stupid airport out of the way. This is gorgeous. This is immaculate. This is 10 out of 10 chef's kiss. What more can I say? Thank you so much for Jeff, this magnificent island. I, I absolutely love Jeff. And I'm gonna go ahead and say bye to Jeff. Bye, Jeff. <laughs> so let me know, what did you think? I know my touring skills and my articulation and my vocabulary aren't the best, but hey, if you had fun on this video and you had fun with me touring some random dream islands, let me know. I would love to keep doing this. Don't forget, if you're interested in SNH2's game development program to learn more by clicking the link down in my description below. I super duper appreciate you watching this video. Thank you so much again for watching. And I We'll see you in the next one.